Hi, I'm Steven Wang with Key Performance Ideas, and today I'll be going over instant aggregation with Smart Push. Um, to give you a background knowledge about Smart Push, it's an instant data movement from one plant type to another when using it in a form. And you, you will have the capability of pushing data, including comments, attachments, and supporting details. And Smart Push can be replaced by X-Ray and XREF. And today I'll be showing you a demo on how to set up Smart Push and use it in the form. So once you launch the application, you would go to Administration Map Reporting Application. And here you can see all of the <clears throat> mappings that's already created. And if you want to create your own, just click on the green plus mark. And you would just name your application. And in your source application, you would select your plant type. And here I'll be selecting main. And in your reporting application, um, you'll select um, whichever your target application is. And here today, we'll, I'll be selecting ASO plan. And in this map dimension, you'll be defining your mappings. So if it's a one-to-one -one relationship or uh, if you have multiple members going to one target, target member, then that's where you would define it here. But for today's demo, I'll be doing a one-to-one -one mapping at a level zero descendant for all dimensions. So then I'll just click Finish. So now I'll officially just set up the mappings for Smart Push. So once you set up the mapping for Smart Push, the next step is to go into a form and attach it to a form. So if I open the Forms folder and go into the Forms, and I'll define my forms here. And here I created a smart push form. So if I were to edit this form, And then so go to the Smart Push tab. And here, here's where you want to add your map reporting. So as you can see here, that's the map reporting that we just created. And we could select that. Or <clears throat> I already have one in place. So if we were to select one, and then here's where you define if you want to use the form context or do you want to use the over selection. So you could actually use, for example, if you don't want to use the currency in the form. You could actually define your um, <clears throat> override the local currency and use it, for example, use a USD for that. And also make sure you click check the run on save. So every time when you save the form, it will actually push the data from one plant type to another. So once you're finished with that, um, you would just click on uh, finish. And next, I'll show you um, a form that I already created for this demonstration purposes. And as you can see here, the top piece is pointing to a BSO cube, which is the main cube, and there's data in it. While at the, bo the bottom of the form, this bottom form, it's pointing to an ASO cube. And as you can see here, they have all the same dimensionality, but there's no data in the ASO cube. So the next thing I'll do is just click on Save and do, do a Smart Push. So when I click on Save here, it will push the data from the ASO to BSO. So as you can see here, Smart Push was successful. So if you were to review the form now, you could see the data got pushed successfully from the BSO queue to the ASO queue. So that <clears throat> that wraps up my demo for today, and I hope you enjoy this demonstration. Thank you.